Critics are calling The Witch one of the most anticipated horror films of 2016, and for one, I am in complete agreement. You want to know why? Keep watching. Hi guys, welcome to the Bat Cave. I'm your host, Lady Hellbat, and today I'm really excited to talk to you about Robert Eggers' The Witch. If you've been following the film festival circuit for the past year, you've probably heard of it. It premiered at Sundance and won its director, Robert Eggers, an award for Best Director. It also showed at the Toronto International Film Festival last summer where I got to catch it and I saw it with the Room Org staff and we were so blown away by it that we decided to put it on the cover of the January-February issue of the magazine. The film is set in 1630 New England where a man takes his Puritan family away from a village to start anew on the edge of a forest. Now, the father of this family, played by Ralph Innocent, and his wife, played by Game of Thrones' Kate Dickey, they have four children, the eldest of which is Thomason, who's a 13-year-old girl, and the bulk of her responsibilities have to do with looking after her younger brother, Caleb, the young twins, Mercy and Jonas, and looking after the little baby, Samuel. Now, they build up their home on the edge of this forest from absolutely nothing, which is... Pretty amazing to begin with, but it's not long before things start going horribly wrong. First of all, baby Boom! Samuel completely disappears while he's under Thomason's care, and Thomason has absolutely no explanation for it. Samuel! So while the family is still reeling from Samuel's disappearance, the crops start failing, and by now the family is completely excommunicated from the village, so when your crops fail, the threat of starvation is actually pretty serious, and so before long the family starts turning on one another and accusing each other of witchcraft. Now there are a number of reasons why The Witch is such an impressive film. First of all, it's the feature film debut from director Robert Eggers. Second, the atmosphere is absolutely pitch perfect. It's very authentic for the time that it's set in. Everybody in the movie uses Jacobian old-fashioned English, which takes some getting used to, but after a while you get the hang of it, it just feels so real. And the formality and the gravity of the words all add to the eerie atmosphere. What's especially exciting to me about The Witch is, of course, the theme of witchcraft. Now, for me, I love movies about witches, and I tend to sort movies about witches into three typologies. Number one is the old hag, the obvious, the Disney witch with her warts and her broomstick and hee 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 hee. Like she's the witch that we all think about when we think of witches. And in movies, we see her in all Disney movies, Wizard of Oz, Hocus Pocus, that kind of witch. The second typology of witches are the supernatural witches, and those are the kinds of witches that we're going to see in movies like Suspiria or The Craft. These are women who look like normal people, but they possess great supernatural power. And third, and my favorite, is the historical witch, which is to say women who were wrongfully accused of witchcraft due to mass hysteria. And this is an actual historical fact. It happened, innocent women were burned or hanged or tortured, depending on where they were at the time. Now these are the kinds of witches that we're going to see in movies like The Crucible, The Witchfinder General, movies that aren't actually about witches, but it's more about the mass hysteria that surrounded the accusation of witchcraft. So these movies tend to be very politically charged and really interesting. What I love about Robert Eggers' The Witch is that it combines those last two typologies of witches. There's a strong supernatural element in Baby Samuel's disappearance, for example. He seems to disappear into thin air, and it's not long before the family starts experiencing really terrifying, disturbing visions. There are also elements of the historical witch in that this is a deeply religious family. And back in those times, if your crops failed and things were going bad, you really believed that it was God's punishment. And it wasn't all that uncommon to sadly discover that your beloved son or daughter was actually in league with Lucifer the entire time. Now, the way this film seamlessly combines these two typologies is really interesting because Either way you look at it, whether it's a witch in the woods who's terrorizing this family, or if this family are tearing each other to shreds over nothing, 
I don't know which is more terrifying. There's a lot more I'd like to say about the film, but I really don't see how I can without giving spoilers, and this film is so good that I just can't do that to you. However, I have a really good feeling that the Faculty of Horror podcast will tackle this film eventually, so maybe you'll have to wait for that. Overall, I just love this film. This is exactly the kind of horror film that I absolutely love. It's a slow burn. It's a dark, nightmarish fantasy that's also rooted in this very accurate and believable historical context. I'm not exaggerating when I say that the film actually scared the shit out of me. There was a couple of images in it that really stayed with me and bothered me, and nonetheless, I can't wait to see it again. Luckily, we don't have to wait for long. The Witch was scheduled for a wide North American release on February 26th, but it recently got bumped up to February 19th. For more information on The Witch, you want to pick up issue 163 of Rue Morgue magazine. It's the January-February issue, which means it's going to be on stands all the way up until March. It's got a great interview with the director, Robert Eggers, interviews with other people who are involved, and sidebars, and all that good stuff. So check that out for sure. So go see The Witch, let me know what you thought about it, comment below, and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss another episode of The Back See you next time.